Yo, everybody! The Dear Rock the Ninja here is coming at you live once again with Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Alright. Last time! We continued inside Sutter Argyle and we made ourselves a new friend and member of the team, which is Bayonet. And off screen, not only did I purify, but I also gave her a nickname. Yes, I actually looked at the gender and I actually thought this one through. I decided to name her Blake. No, not that Blake. The other Blake. Yep, you guessed it. The Blake from Ruby. Yep, call me a fan. But anyway, so I'll go ahead and show you what. Whoopsie. Did not mean to do that. Nope. There we go. Very nice to only moveset, if I do say so myself. Well, then again, you kind of knew that already because I showed you off the moveset. Anyway. Um, it actually be, it's tied with my second strong, as my strongest one with Umbra. So, what do you say we get her a break? I'm gonna go back to her book. Let's just move on. Rather than making this a little more awkward than it needed to. <laughs> okay, ooh. Um, oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, it's from Egan. Dear Michael, I hope you are well. I wrote you a haiku poem. If Team Snagum Goons cause trouble in the desert, go and sandbag them. <laughs> wow! Egan! That! That! That is an awesome haiku poem. Love it. Okay. I will admit, I, I love that. Now, I believe that there. Yeah, this person is not required, but she gives us two hyper potions! Yay! Okay. You're going this way? I don't think that's a wise decision. Because we have to beat me to go this way. Okay. That fight took way longer than it needed to, and I had to, I had to go heal after this, but. Found a PP up. Okay, not too shabby. Now, uh, let's go back over here with this because there's another item box over here, and I think. Um, yeah, the, both of these guys are acquired. Okay, so I decided to cut the rest of these two fights over because they did not have Shadow Pokemon, and I only showed the ones that did have Shadow Pokemon. But they do give me an elixir. I do like that. I actually really like that. It could actually be proven useful. Okay, anyway. Now that I'm done rambling on about that, let's go! Continuing on to this magma pit inside a volcano. So now we can actually start moving on. I think that there is a, a trainer. Yep, there you is. I hope you're required because if you're not, you're, you're gonna be cut out. Because I actually can tell this is a required fight. Yes, you are required. You are actually a trainer of interest and I'm actually gonna show off. Okay. So you got a camera up and you got a wheezing. By the way, um, Umbra and, and I think um, I don't remember who I was talking up. I don't even remember what happened two minutes ago. Holy crap! I have dementia. Okay. But in all seriousness, this guy's this okay. This gal is required. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on. I keep forgetting that Weezing is actually a really good uh, physical wall, not a special wall. And ew. For Sazen, now Sludge. What's? Game, I need to ask you something. Why do you hate me now and then? I know I haven't done a let's play on your on your elder brother yet, but I am doing it on my other channel. Does that count? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Enough about uh, me talking to the game who can't even talk back to me. Let's just move on. Jeez, that camera up's tough. And why is camera helping me out even more? Why? 
But of course, I'm hurt by poison. Give it a full restore later, but... Okay. Alright. Let's go for a flamethrower on, on that muck. Thanks to that power-up on the flash fire. And... Boom! Doubles the power of my fire time moves? Holy crap. They weren't kidding on that one. Alright. Rabidash! Is a shadow Pokemon! Rabidash! Is one of the most unusual fire types ever. It's mostly meant to be a physical attacker. Unlike many fire types, but does it mean it's a bad Pokemon? No! I actually used one in the past in my Platinum LP. And it was a very good Pokemon, and I liked it a lot. It even comes with Solar Beam and Sunny Day, so you don't have to worry about charging up Solar Beam at the first turn. You can just fire it off by using your Sunny Day. And I love it. Macargo is also a shadow Pokemon. Macargo! It is mostly meant to be a defensive wall, but is it any good at it? Hell no. It's got several big weaknesses. Both being a quad weakness to water and a quad weakness to ground. So, I guess if you want to have a pretty decent uh, fire type, you might as well look elsewhere because you're not going to find them here. Ah, oh boy. Hey, Shifaxi, relax! You don't recognize me? Oh, wait, your heart's in case of shadow. Never mind. Okay. Here we go. It's a good thing here that I'm pressing a psychic type. Otherwise, that'd actually be a little bit more dangerous. And stop it? Ugh. You know what? I gotta use it. There we go. And you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's go for an Ultra Ball on the Macargo. Snag Ball set. Launch. Initiating capture. One, two, three. Oh, hit it when it does that. Oh, shadow down. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna be pretty bad, actually, because it lowers my defense dramatically. And Umbra's meant to be a physical wall, I believe it was. Okay. Oh boy, here it goes. Stop it! Um, let's give it a second on that one. And you know what? Let's give it another bottom of cargo. Now, if you're also going to use uh, Rapid Ash on your team, just a fair warning make sure your ability is Flash Fire, not run away. Because what does one already do? Nothing. Okay. So now that we got my cargo down into the red, let's give it a whirl. And it flinched. It's good. But this is good. This is good. And I'll give it one. Nah, nah, nah. We'll give it a quick attack on Rabbit Dash. And let's give it a Timer Ball. Because Timer Balls are meant to be your best friend in this game. Snag Ball set. Launch! Initiating capture! One! Two! Three! Woohoo! We caught ourselves a slug in a rock! That sounded kind of weird when I say it. <laughs> Another shadow down? Jeez, I'm already low in defense already on Houndoom or Cerberus. This is what I like to call overkill. What am I talking about? Okay. Let's give it another quick attack on the Rabidash. And let's give it an Ultra Ball on it. Okay, here we go. Snag Ball set. Launch. Initiating capture. 
One, two, three. Woo! Yeah, Shimfaxi, you are back in the group. Unfortunately, you're not a member of the team. I'm sorry. Okay. I just can't battle in this wicked heat. You and me both, sister. You and me both. I... If there's one thing that you want to know, me and the heat, we don't get along. Hi, bucko. Throwing everything at you with no restraint. I can't take this brutal heat anymore. You know what? Perhaps maybe we should take this outside. Okay, I'm back. Man, that fight took longer than I thought. Two full restores! At least I made up for the one that I used from before. Okay. Now we got these two knuckleheads. These guys are actually are required. My name is Carbon. My name is Petro. Together we bring the power double explosion attack. Yes! These two are required, so I am going to be showing off this fight. Okay. So I decided to switch my team around a little bit. Gonna start with Pure Baton Blake. Okay. Let's give it a shot of all in the meta champ. Joke's on you! Because guess what? Ghost is counted as physical! And holy crap, that actually didn't work than I thought. Yeah, drunk that. All right. He's got his ought to. Okay, I'll play with it. And ha <laughs> ha ha! You flinched. Let's do it again. I'm gonna take out the ought to along the way. And holy crap! He's got psychic. Well done, Pubertar. Another flinch would be nice. You goes. Dang, that shadow ball packs a punch. Hit Monchan. It's a shadow Pokemon. A uh, hit Monchan. Before the fourth generation, it was actually not a bad Pokemon. Um, unfortunately, its ability, Iron Fist, has yet to be unlocked. So, and some of the moves that, that it learns are mostly rated as especially oriented, especially with those elemental attacks that it learns. So, if you're going to want to use a Hitmonchan, you might want to consider this in a little consideration. I was not expecting that Hitmonchan to be faster than I am, holy crap. Well, whatever what time it is. At least that's what I was go hoping to go for. Now, you know what, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Then I'll call. Okay. Ow. Now please, for the love of God, don't knock out this Hitmonchan. No, 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 no! There goes my very first shadow Pokemon that I actually had. And to wait for me or B to show. You know what? I'll take care of that off screen. I'll probably take care of that tonight. Who knows? Maybe Mirabir will be a nice guy. So, uh, there goes a shadow Pokemon that I've missed. But what? I know, right? Yeah, him on Chan fled somewhere. Don't worry, our good buddy Mirror B will be taking care of that. I'll catch it off screen if I need to. But now we got Petro. I believe he also has five Pokemon. Or was it four? I don't remember. 
All right, here we go. Pewtar and Sheep Man. These my Pokemon are moving up in the world. Um, let's do that and do that. Get that Skarmory out of the way. And people are level 41. Very good. I was not expecting a critical hit to happen. But, oh well. And holy crap, we got confused, right? And of course you were aiming at Pupitar. Go figure. And now you start hitting yourself. Phenomenal. Uh, that the tank does kind of worry me a little bit, so. Oh no. Is this going to be one of those moves of failures? It is, isn't it? Jeez. This is actually not good. You know what? Now we'll give it the Thunder Punch. We said that something. But not uh, all the way. Copy Pubitar's stat changes. Hey! Pubitar, how could you hit yourself if you don't have hands? You're like... You're like a cocoon of some sort. What is he? Because I've always been wondering that. There we go. We got Hariyama right here. And he finally snapped out of your confusion. Good, good, good. At least the leftovers are helping. We gotta take out that grump pig because that thing's starting to bug me. Talk to the hand, old friend. And why did you copy... Sheep Man's stats. There we go. Um, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll give it a Thunder Punch on the Hariyama. Ooh, magical, magic coat. I almost said magical coat. All right, come on. There goes the Grump Pig. All right, who's next? Actually, I know who's next. Hitmonlee! It's a Shadow Pokemon. Hitmonlee! This is on probably the best one of the other Hitmon fighters. It has some fantastic physical attack stats and it can also take a lot of special hits like a champ. Just like our good buddy Bruce Lee. Anyway, um, if you want to go for a fighting type Pokemon of any kind, you might want to catch this one because this one actually is holding the black belt if my memory serves me right. And holy crap, we got Shadow Half. Crap. Not good. Now watch me knock it out. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh no! I, come on! Really? 
So all the Hitmon fighters are gone. <sighs> really? Okay, I'm not gonna let any more Shadow Pokemon get away from me after screwing myself out of two in a row. I'm not screwing out of them at this one. So you know what? I'll be right back. Uno, dos, tres! <sighs> For the love of Mama Luigi and a friggin' tunnel pole, will you please just get inside this ball? One, two, three! <sighs> Okay, now that I've actually lost all my patience for this, <sighs> I know this episode is going to probably seem short, but <sighs> we're going to end things off right here because I've actually ran out of time, almost a patience for this. So yeah, we're ending things off right here. So next time, a Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness will be heading out to us to the near final hill part of Cedar Dark Island, and hopefully I won't have any more problems with catching these Shadow Pokemon once again. See you guys then. <laughs> Now I'm going cross-eyed.